Today we're taking a look at a new system that they added to the game, which could be pretty broken, especially for a seasoned gyro controller user. If you guys aren't familiar with what that is, it kind of turns my controller into a mouse to a certain extent. You can get that movement, reaction, precision that you would normally get with the mouse. You can kind of see how I'm moving the controller without moving my aim, and it is moving my aim. Uh, and then what happens is if I were to control recoil without actually controlling the recoil at all, you can kind of see where it puts my aim and it looks like it doesn't move. If I just let the trigger go, the recoil will obviously go up. But if I wanted to adjust it, I just can point this thing wherever, kind of like a Wii remote. And it's a brand new feature that obviously it's going to have its nuances and there's certain best practices. For me personally, I've gotten really accustomed to controlling my recoil, my aim with my joystick, with my proper settings, but these could be maximized significantly. And what we'll do is look at the individual settings and we'll kind of see what you can do because this does pair on top of aim assist. Right now I have target aim assist on. I'm using black ops aim assist, even though all everyone thinks it got nerfed to a certain extent. I haven't gone back in retest. Even if it got nerfed, it's going to be online with default. And then gyro behavior, we go ahead and put that on ADS only if this is something you want to get accustomed to using. If you go ahead and put this on on, it'll actually impact when you're moving as well. So when you're walking around, regardless if you're aimed down sight or not, and you can impact these settings. You want it to be a little bit more sensitive. What you could do is actually increase this significantly. You would have increased movement and it would be insane. You can invert those if you want it as well. So we have this on and if I wanted to move, I can just like a keyboard and mouse player. Obviously this is like for exaggeration purposes. And, but in reality, if I wanted to aim here, I can control where I want just the same way a mouse user could, the same way you could with the keyboard and mouse. So you can see it moves all over. My recommendation personally would be to have it on ADS only. And then you would manipulate these numbers, see how that moves like wherever. If I want to go up on this ledge, boom, 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 boom. You can kind of talk like crazy fast, faster than I could with just my aim alone. So if we go to controller, I would lower these down significantly, at least for my preference. I don't want to rewire my brain to utilize this in addition to my thumbsticks. So I probably won't have like a, a ton of time with this thing beyond just using it here. You can kind of see without me actually controlling the aim, it's doing its thing. So if I go ahead and go like this, it will adjust and it can actually move in combination. Uh, you would have to adjust your other settings to match and you would have to practice with this to kind of get used to it. Like, you know, see, I can move a lot faster than if I could move like this. It, it, it's, it gets a little bit wonky. And this is something that even for things like aim labs, it would allow you to control your recoil and allow you to stay on target and snap from target to target. I don't have a lot of horizontals, so that's not working. But if I want to tap on a target here and then back to the window, back up, back down, back up, back down, back up. You'd have that flexibility. So it really depends on the limitation and strengths of where you're at in terms of the, the control of this. Probably if you wanted to full rain and you wanted to have this be part of it, you can have like that little twitchiness. Maybe if you're going to be sniping, you can get on target. You can line that up. And this has no aiming involved, right? Like, so if I have that control, so this could be incredibly broken. You can actually control this the same way you could a mouse. It will remove the recoil to a certain extent because literally you can adjust where you're aiming to. If I were to use this, I would probably lower this significantly, uh, put something like this, and then it would allow me to have, you know, th those adjustments. Maybe I would do a little bit more. And this is how you would fine tune this essentially to be able to control it without. And that's regardless of the gun. So even if we have a gun like this, where we're gonna beam this here, You literally just aim it there. For me, my muscle memory doesn't work that way. My brain doesn't work that way. But if we're going to hit this target here, then we're going to jump over here up to the window. So you'd have to get practice and used to it. But essentially, you'd be using that instead of your aim. So my overall verdict on this setting is to try it. Why not? Load up with some bots if you have multiplayer. Obviously, if you don't have... If you're a free-to-play player, you're going to be a little bit limited on how you can practice with this stuff. Uh, whether you go into DMZ and just mess around on the corner of the map with something you take in. 
Uh, but personally for me, this isn't something I would probably use because I've been playing first person shooters on controller my whole life pretty much. So even if I needed to hit this target, I could literally just aim there, showed up to the window. It won't be nearly as fast because I play on a lower sensitivity so I could be super accurate. I pull down when I aim and move up to target. It will never be as fast as we just saw, but this is what I'm used to. My brain works that way. I can control pretty much any weapons recoil if it's controllable. Some are, some aren't. And that's what usually ends up being the meta. So hopefully this has helped you out. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching as always. Have a great day.